Hello everybody, what is going on? Dead Eye here, and today we are going to be doing part 3 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, pardon my voice, it is a little messed up, I do have a sore throat, but um, this is part 3, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you, I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Let's do this, boy. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! <laughs> After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! snow finally feels good doesn't it but we need to get this done fast now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us oh look at you boys see this is what i call a crew micah bell charles smith arthur morgan javier escuela and what about young lenny here always the first man on his horse just happy we're back at him, Dutch. Just trying to look at the you view. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? <laughs> That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, careful. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Maybe. Ease. Oh, is Bill there? The scene. Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Oh, that's a glitch. Okay, 
Okay, so we have to go talk to this guy, and I have ran out of stamina. So we have to go talk to this guy, and um, he's gonna be gonna help us rob the train. How you getting on? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. Should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okie dokie. Have to say, I'm rather looking forward to it. Just be ready to move quick. And remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? Yeah. I think Just so. Just ran out of breath. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here. Cover our faces. I'll check. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Oh no. Shit, no, what? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh -huh. Gotta go get it. Here we go! Here we go! Oh. I'm slipping! Oh no. Oh shit! I got you, Lanny. Stop yelling! Help me! Help me! Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. You and me, big man. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and get our... Come on, we need out. to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? I got him. Must be gone. Oh, God, let the nearest 
Oh, it's just beautiful. We need the car at the back, right? Yep. Keep pushing on me. I don't know how a soldier shot killed him. Still okay? I think so. Good. God. Damn, my aim on. today is bad. Who is this guy? good, kid. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh god, we're gonna have a second to do this. I don't know. Oh shit. Look, coming out that last wall. Okay, I need a help Sonic. We're gonna get out of this. Oh, I know we are. Death the other boy! Yeah, see that's why I don't use the pistol. Watch it! Blow them ahead! Come on! Bring this up, boys! Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the O'Driscolls yeah, brought so many boys up here for this. Officer, get over here. Oh, that's my people. <laughs> you two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Rapidly fire from the head. Oh. Oh. You got no way in here. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. <laughs> Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Me? Alrighty. Now don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step Please back. Dynamite. Enough. Here light we go. The fuse. Now light the fuse. Unless oh, you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellers. Thumbnail. <laughs> There's no way that killed them. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill go. you. My we just want to rob your boss. Sir said. Actually, pistol. <laughs> Go to the private car. So we have to search it now. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy oh, as I'd... cake. Letter. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Son, me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did Two thousand dollars. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. Okay, so I'm guessing I'll that plane, that. or not the plane, the uh, I had to go okay. to somewhere. Let's see if and we can get, get this open. Two grand for it? Something. Fine brandy. That's awful handy. Getting there. We're just gonna basically take. Anything we can get. Platinum watch. We can sell all this stuff at the fence uh, for a good See? amount of money. That's how it's done. So we can have a yes. decent amount of this stuff. Of uh, another letter Boss? here. Let's see what I this don't is. Think so. Here. Make yourself useful. Can't read we all know that you can well. read. Thank Give you, me Telegram. Those. Okay. Railroad contracts. Invoices, blah blah blah. You got anything? No, not some really. Cabinets are right here. Do sugar imports from the Spanish West can. Indies. A lot it's of sugar. It's been a while since I've done this. Some got a box here. Lock box. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long Let's as see. I live. There we go. That's what we wanted. How much is it? I think I got him. It's nice. a bond and yeah. oh, Come that on. wasn't money at all. That was <clears> just twenty bucks. <sighs> A cigar. So let's search the cabinet now. Uh, nothing in there. Okay. So that's pretty much it from this uh, train. 
so. Let's head up. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! <laughs> nice. We're gonna threaten them first. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul. I swear. Get a move on. If you I know what? So much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Oh, was that a footstep? That was a footstep. You're dead. How about you, sir? You better not move those feet. All right, y'all seem pretty stationary. All right, let me search your dead pal here. And uh, just so one of you can be lonely. All right, have fun, dude. Don't know where this train will take you, but it's it's uh <laughs> might take you back to Mr. Cornwall. Alright, so we have to go all the way towards the front and start the train. Here, let's get up on here. Or we could have just walked around, but it's okay. Start the train. There's my horse. And now we go. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're <laughs> in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Here we go. We're finally leaving this dump. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. 
Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> I think I got some whiskey from that cargo. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, <coughs> let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough Alrighty. to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. I got it. <sighs> Bash. Nearly there. There. There we go. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Okay. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow now the we river can go. And cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. 
Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law, eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. A rabbit. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Acquired some herbs. You can be cons they can be can they can be re consumed and replenish your quarters. Oh, okay. That's boogie. There you are, brother. Head in there. You follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay. Where you at? Come on now, we ain't got all day. Ugh, slow people. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Our first camp. <laughs> you weren't wrong, Jose. This place Here we is are. perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and... Here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so <laughs> would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know see if i can strike up a little business of course herr strauss I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. 
There is a town a little way down the track name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, <laughs> we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> Chapter Two. We got off the mountain, and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to have to do it for episode 1. I hope you all enjoyed, and stay tuned for part 4, where we adventure more um, off the mountains, you would say. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.